I felt that I was given so much in my life that it was time for me to give back, I approached UNICEF and I finally went to them and said, you're gonna have to make me an ambassador. You could take me in, you're gonna have to. Lucky for me, they did. You know, I'm probably the only ambassador that begged to be an ambassador. I said, I want Darfur. Here's my goal, to get Glamour involved. We're gonna get a talk at the Women's Forum for every woman leader around the world about Darfur. I really wanted to find out about the essence of women and what they were doing in extreme situation. They have a stoicness and a grace, a resilience that just translates as a kind of beauty. They told me their stories and when they told me what they'd been through and how their lives were now in the camps. One girl said to me, I don't live anymore. In my town, I was somebody that taught people and inspired people. Now I just exist. And because the men, when they go out for firewood, are killed, the women are sent out because they're only raped. So it is very, very uh, mind-blowing um, to see that and experience that. I try to get their stories and bring them back to share with the women here and see if we can do something about it. One little boy said to me, I said, what do you want to be? And they wanted to be things like they'd seen. I want to be a UNICEF worker. I want to be a, a, a teacher. I want to be, they wanted to be great things, you know, great, inspiring things. And then I said, okay, if you could have one thing that you wanted, what would you like? He said, a real classroom. That's what they're striving for, education, education. The women there, you know, holding their babies and children, want the same thing as the women here want. They want their children to be healthy, they want them to be safe, and they want them to have an education. That's all they want. I feel very grateful for the breadth of my experiences. All of them make me richer. Person. Sometimes I wonder who's healing who. You know, I don't know if I make a difference. I'm trying to make a difference for some people. I'm learning from them resilience and what a human being is able to accept. And still, love is phenomenal to me.